welcoming you guys back to Let's Play Elder Scrolls for Oblivion. In the last episode, we did some uh, side quests. And we also ran into a glitch with the quest Zero Visibility, which I tried to, you know, get to the point where we left off with that quest off camera. But, um, apparently, every single time I would leave, I would, uh, leave that in, in Aleswell, uh, the, it would, the game would crash. So I don't think we're going to be able to do that quest. So, we are here in the, uh, what's the name of this place? Uh, the, these ruins inside the, inside, the, inside the Telfast ruins. And we're still doing the quest lifting the vape. Sorry, I almost kind of forgotten, uh, when I started, when I first booted up the game, I actually for, uh, forgotten what we did in the last episode. But... I guess when you're doing three Let's Plays at a time, that's normal. And some of you may say that uh, maybe I should do less. Maybe I should do like one or two Let's Plays at a time. But I, for me, I feel like that would be over, like posting too much of the same content. So with three Let's Plays, it's a little more spaced out. So that's why I'm doing three instead of one or two. Especially, definitely not doing one Let's Play because of how many, you know, because of the fact that I try to upload daily. And if I was doing just one Let's Play at a time, then it'd be just too much of the one Let's Play, you know? Like, for example, if I was doing just Oblivion, and, and I wasn't doing Paper Mario and Fallout 3 to go with it, for one, I'd be, a, I'd be breezing through the Let's Plays so fast, and also, basically, it'd be just posting nothing but Oblivion every day, because I can't, I, I just can't go to less, to less than, uh, six days a week, you know, if I take a day off during the week, it's because I need it, or because I just need to take the day off, or, you know, there's other stuff going on that, that won't give me time to record, basically. So, yeah. God dang it, quit blocking, you little bastard. Jesus. I'll take that healing potion. And more y'all. Ah, screw it. I don't care. Let's turn the handle and get the bridge down while I take a healing potion. There. Come on, bridge down, please. Thank you. And, of course, there's more skeletons. God dang it. Yeah. There we go, dead. All of them, dead. Perfect. Wait, can he see me? I want to see if I can hit him with a bow. Let me see. I didn't kill him, but I should be able to kill him before he gets too close. There we go. He didn't even hit me. Plus, I'd like to get my marksman up anyway. Just because I it needs to go up. Big time. Uh, let me get a repair hammer and see if see what I need to repair in terms of my armor and also my uh, my weapons. Let's see, where is it? Yeah, my glass, my glass short sword definitely needed repairs. For sure. What do we got here? 
You have made a long and perilous journey, but there is no time to rest. The army of Raymond is at our doorstep, and our supplies have dwindled. We have awaited your arrival. Tell us, what news do you bring from Akavir? Uh, here are your orders. Well done, soldier. Your mission is complete, and you have my thanks. Now we may rest. Long live the Akavir. Now what? After seeing the orders, the Akavir, the Akavir commander vanished. The ruins are now silent and at peace. After so many years, the Akaviri's final mission has been completed. I should proceed ahead and search for the Madstone. Cool. Well, first let's open these chests. Open any chests and get loot out. I'll take that. I'll take that. I'll take that. Draconian Madstone. I've obtained the Draconian Madstone. I should now make the long journey back to Countess Caravane and Bruma. Yeah, as soon as I open up these other two chests and take whatever's in it. Gold. Uh, don't need the dwarven battle axe. Where does this go? The wooden door to the scales of the serpent. The hell? All right. I guess this is like the back way to get out. I hope. Hope I'm not screwing myself over by going this way and making it harder for me to get back. Let's just keep on moving. I got my bow ready to go. Ah! That was a trap. Am I going the right way? I really hope so. I really hope I'm going the right way. Okay. Yay, another chest. More gold. Thank you very much. Oh, yep, this is the way out. Perfect. Very good. Nope. That was done. That was pretty much easy. Now let's head back to Bruma. And also, off camera, I did pick up another quest. I don't know if I'm going to do it or not, though. Because it involves vampires, and I do not want to have to do the cure for vampirism quest. If I can help it. And I think yes, doing, that, que doing mm. that quest I picked up off camera, I think it... Um, I think it increases your chances of getting bitten by, by a vampire while you sleep by quite a bit. And even though, you know, some people may say, well, then just don't sleep, but eventually I would have to when I level up again. That's the issue there. And the freaking quest to cure vampirism sucks. Welcome back, my lord. Have you recovered the madstone? Yes, I have. Here it is. I never thought it possible. I mean, I had hoped, but to actually hold it in my hands. Oh, it's more beautiful than I imagined it. Congratulations. I had a feeling you were the right person for the job. And it seems I owe you a reward. This Akaviri ring was found with the messenger's diary. It awards the wearer with increased agility and resistance to harmful magic. Okay. It's known as the Ring of the Viper Eye. I hope it serves you well in your future journeys. I mean, if I don't need it, if I don't wear it, I can definitely May make some money off of it. On your so what other side quests do we have to do? Can't do zero visibility. Uh, but I also found the quest that I was looking for that I thought was in Leowin, and it's not. So there's that. So I think we're going to do that one. This is one of my favorite quests. But first, I'm going to go, because I realize I have some loot on me that I need to sell. So I'm going to go sell that. And I will meet you guys in uh, Chaden Hall. 
Alright guys, I am back and we are back in Chaden Hall. A pleasure so to the see. quest is called A Brush With Death. I've heard that a missing painter named Rith Lithandus, 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 I don't know, has gone missing. Apparently his wife Tavella has been frantically searching for him. Perhaps I should visit their home here in Chaden Hall to see if I can assist with the search. It looks like that she's not in their home, but she's actually outside by the green marker. <clears throat> Excuse me, by the waypoint being green and not red. Or she is in their home, Hello. and for some reason the waypoint marker is still green, like she's outside. I'm Tavella Lathandis. Or it was just glitched. I apologize that I can't give you the respect a guest in my home would normally receive, but I am at my wit's end. I'm sorry to be so forward, but I desperately need your help. It seems that my husband, Wrythe, has gone missing, and I just don't know what to do. Tell me about him. Yes, my husband is the Wrythe Lathandus. Have you heard of him? No, please tell me about him. You haven't? That's strange. Wrythe is known far and wide as one of the best painters in all Cyrodiil. Yeah, I don't pay attention His to His specialty paintings. is setting the great forest to canvas. The paintings look so amazingly real that some say they can see the trees sway in the breeze. That's just a silly notion, of course. But it just goes to show the attention to detail Wrythe uses when he paints. You said Wright is missing, huh? Yes, Wright likes to work in his studio with the door locked so no one can disturb him. He usually comes out to eat dinner and sleep. But two days ago, he didn't come out at all. At first, I wasn't worried. He does that occasionally. But when he didn't come out for a full day, I unlocked the studio with a key he said to use only in emergencies. It turned out he wasn't inside. I'm sure he never left that room. So I have no idea where he's gone. Please help me find Wrythe. I love him dearly and I'm so worried. I'll help him. I'll help. Oh, thank you so very much. Here's the key to Wrythe's studio. You may come and go as you please. If you need me, I'll be around the house. Do hurry. I miss my love so much. All right. So. Do be careful. All right, so here's the studio. Open unusual painting to the painted what? After touching the painting Wright had been working on, I suddenly found myself standing in a strange forest. It looks familiar, like the great forest in the heart of Cyrodiil, but something is different about it. Where did you come from? You look real enough. You must be from the outside. Oh, thank goodness someone finally came. While I'm overjoyed to see a friendly face, I'm afraid I have some bad news for you. You're stuck here like I am. Sorry to break it to you like that, but if it wasn't for that annoying thief, we wouldn't be in this predicament. Thief? What thief? I was in my studio when a Bosma wearing dark clothing accosted me. Before I could call for help, he knocked me unconscious. When I came to, I found that the door to my studio was still locked and that the thief had snatched my paintbrush. That's when I saw it. There was something on the canvas of my painting that I hadn't put there. It looked somewhat like a troll, but it was badly done. Then it hit me. The Bosma must have leapt into the painting, then painted guardians inside to protect himself using the brush of true paint. The brush of true paint? I knew the secret of my success would be revealed one day. I can tell you all about the brush, if you like. Please do. Very well. The brush showed up several years ago in the possession of an artist who was serving in the Arnesian War of 396. It seems an errant fireball had exploded next to him, and he lost the use of both arms. He was a stubborn man who didn't want to give up his talent. Being a devout follower of Devella, he prayed to her for something that would allow him to express himself once more. She heard his plea and gifted him with the brush. It said the bristles of the brush are woven from Debella's own hair. That injured man 
was my father. He passed the brush on to me, and I intend to pass it along to my kin one day. Did you want to know how it works? No need. I must get going. Thank you. You're kind to help someone you've just met. The only thing standing in our way are the painted trolls. All right. Cool. Be cautious, friend. Yeah, no kidding. Let's deal with these painted trolls. Wherever the hell they are. There's one. Come on. Really? Seriously? Oh my god, I'm gonna need my sword for this. Painted troll down. Let's keep on pushing through the forest. Take out any more trolls that get in our way. Well, yeah, I do remember this quest. It, it is a quest I do enjoy. Because it's just different. It's different. I mean, it's only quest... You know, it's... You're inside a painting that was brought to life by a magic brush. You know what I'm saying? And it's, it's just... I like how different it is. Come on. Die already. Just there we go. I don't remember how many trolls there are in the in that we have to deal with. Yeah. Ow! Little bastard. All right, so I guess we just keep going this way because it looks like if we go left, it just runs into a dead end. Another troll. Yeah. Ow. Ow. Stop hitting me. I don't like the sound the trolls in this game make, though. Did he just kick me? You little, you little bastard. Come on. Perfect. Is that all of them? Or are there more? It must be all of them. Okay. Well, I guess I'll head back to the other... To that... To, uh... What's his name then? I mean, if that's all of them. It can't be all of them. I'd get a freak, some kind of prompt or something, wouldn't I? Is there... An... No. Alright. Let me heal up, repair my sword, and we'll head back. Come on, down to the bottom. There we go. Mm, excuse me. Thought I heard somebody run. I thought I heard a troll running up on me. Never mind. Um. So yeah, let's just continue going, heading back to what's his name, and tell him all the trolls are dead, and that we don't know what to do next. Like I said, I may know that I may have done this quest a few times, but I still don't remember what to do after you kill the trolls so hopefully I'm doing the right thing hopefully I'm doing it right and that I'm not screwing it up all right dead end uh, so I guess this way yeah I gotta remember follow the dead troll bodies there he is. Hey, uh, Wrythe. Where did you come from? You look real enough. Oh my god. What? you The tr I- Turpentines. I'll have to remember to remove the trolls from my painting before I complete this piece. 
Okay. Be cautious, friend. Now what? Wait, did he tell me what I'm supposed to do? And I just skipped over it. I've learned that a thief... It's on the thief's body and we can't leave without it. I should take my leave of Wrythe for now and begin exploring the surreal forest, which I've done. Any luck yet? I'll have to remember. I knew that. Our only hope. Yeah, I did that. I was in my. When I gotta go all the way back the to where uh, where the path ends, me. don't I? Crap. I think. Hold on. What does this turpentine do? Damage painted trolls plus 150. No need. I already killed the bastards. So I gotta find the body of the thief. Great. Alright, well I'll meet you guys when we get to the body of the thief. In the meantime, here's a word from one of the sponsors of my channel, Fatal Grips. Fatal Grips. Fatal Grips is a cool website that ships worldwide and they sell grips, skins, and cases for controllers for the Nintendo Switch, the Xbox, PlayStation, and even PC. They even sell stuff for PC like mice, keyboards, mouse pads, and headsets. They have some great gear as well, like a Fatal Grips mouse pad, a special edition logo t-shirt, a coffee mug, or a Grip Gamer t-shirt. So when you use the when you go to Fatal Grips and you use the code tactical gaming just like my channel or you use the special link that's in the description below you'll get a discount on your order and it'll help support my channel as well so go check out fatal grips thanks guys i've located the thief's corpse i should now search for search it for the brush of true paint yeah we found the thief's corpse so here's the brush ooh I've retrieved the brush of true paint. I should go back and return it to Wrythe so together we can leave this strange landscape and let me take that gold off him too. So now we walk all the way back again. And we go give this to Wrythe. And let him know we've taken care of the trolls and we've got his brush and we need and he needs to do whatever he has to do to get the hell out of here. Let's take the shortcut. Good work. Now I can paint the portal home. After it's complete, you must go first, or else you'd be stuck in here forever. Alright. Follow me. Hurry up. Wright used the brush of true paint to paint a door back to his studio. I should now step through and return back to Tamriel. Perfect. We've arrived back in Wright's home. The painting is now sealed and Wright is safe. I should speak to him when I have a moment. I don't know how to thank you. You have a good heart to help me get back home. I'll never forget what you've done for me. Here. Please take this apron as a token of our apron? friendship. It's not much, but perhaps it will help you in the future. All I ask in return is to keep the brush's existence secret. If word gets around that I have it, I'm afraid more than a lone cut purse will visit me. All right, apron of adroitness. Safe, I don't even know what the hell that means. What does it do? Fortify agility and fortify intelligence. No, thank you. you. That's definitely getting sold. So yeah, we've done that side quest. Now, zero visibility we can't do because I think it's glitched. And then, you know, I don't want to do the one involving vampires because I don't want to take a chance on contracting vampirism because it's a bitch to cure. So I think next would be Mayroon's Razor. And once that's finished, you guys know what that means. Once we finish Mayroon's Razor, we'll be doing the main quest a pleasure be can I interest you in some of my wares so yeah once we do Marin's razor we'll be finishing up the main quest you drive a hard and we'll bargain be doing 
uh, danger quests. Do you have anything worth buying? Please have something worth buying. Oh wait, I have lockpicks. I can sell those. You've sell them for two made gold it. piece. Thank you very much. Bye. And unearthing Baron's razor. I've heard talk of a lost alien city called Varsa Balin, where Mayrune's razor is hidden. If I search the ruins of Sundercliff Watch in the Eastern Nibbon, I may be able to find the lost city and recover this powerful Daedric artifact. Perfect. Let me just do some repairs real quick, if I need to. Nope, nothing's gotta be repaired. So we're heading to Sundercliff Watch. Ooh, it's a ways. What's the closest thing to it? Uh, wow. Oh yeah, it's definitely a walk. But it looks like the closest place is actually the door to, uh, door to, uh, the Shivering Isles. So we'll start from there, and I'll meet you guys when we get to Sundercliff Watch. Alright, everybody, I am back. As you can see, we are getting close, finally, to, uh, where we head into Sundercliff Watch. Long ass walk, guys, I'm not kidding you. Long trek to get here. Had to cross that Nibbin Bay, which took a good while. Had to cross, I think, one river twice, and another river once. A lot of hills and mountains, like it, it's, it was a bitch. Final. We have made it. And looks and here's the entrance. Sundercliff Watch. Here we go. I've entered Sundercliff Watch and can begin my search for Mayrun's razor. Oh, they're hostile. Ow. No blocking. Hell, did you have on you? Short sword of shocking. Really? Hold on, let's look around here. Uh huh. Thanks for the gold. Now let's let's loot them. I don't need no arrows. At least not steel arrows, anyways. What do you got? Silver bow, flare arrows. I'll take those. Shit, I will definitely take some enchanted arrows. Who's that? Abandoned knapsack. I'll take his diary. A diary I found contains a password to explore further. It seems to indicate that some kind of army is amassing here, led by somebody named Drothan. If I can find the journal in his cabin, I may be able to learn more. Journal in his cabin. Okay. Well, I assume I already know the password. Chimer. Hello? Who's that? And he's automatically hostile. Seriously? Hold up. Let's give those flare arrows a shot. And it didn't kill it, but... It didn't kill him, but it did, it did a good chunk of damage. Air, more some arrows of burning, arrows of frost. Very nice. What'd you have on you? Garbage. Jewels, gold, old. 
Stewards Registry. Dude, he's so short. He's so tiny. How can that be intimidating? He's so short. What the fuck? And by the way, no offense to anybody who may be like short like that that's watching my videos. I'm not necessarily tall either. You know, I'm not like... I mean, I am under six foot, but not by much. I'm like 5'10", maybe 5'11". So yeah, no offense. For the gold. I don't need no damn carrots. I ain't no rabbit. Ain't no damn rabbit. Alright, let's see. Nothing to worry about, I guess. Yeah, you got something to worry about, buddy. Just my eyes playing tricks on me. Not necessarily. Bastard, I gotcha. All right, let me equip some more arrows. Arrow frost. What's that? Damn. Out. Ah. Nope. Nope. Ah. Ah. Fuck off. Huh? I'll take those flare arrows. Thank you. Let me see, there's gotta be another there, I heard somebody else, so. Let me see if we could get find him crap, I couldn't get the jump on him. Uh -huh. But I got him there. And you got taken out there. Burn you some bitch. And I missed. Am I supposed to be able to Ooh, I've leveled up my light armor skill. Very nice. Arrow of Dispel? No, I don't want those. What else you got? I don't want none of that, none of that stuff. Alright, let's move on. I can't level up yet, because there's nowhere for me to sleep. To le in order to level up. So, I'm basically stuck right now at the level I'm at until I find a bed. And it's safe to sleep. But hopefully I can find that soon. Somewhere in here. We're looking for a cabin or some shit. Some kind of cabin or something. I mean I'm probably not going to be able to be, end up finishing this quest in this video. I'm going to try. But no guarantees. Never any guarantees. Alright, hold on. Let's see if I can get this right. Better cut down on the ale. Stopping this. Come on. Ah. Gotcha. Alright, let me use these last two arrow burn arrows of burning. And finally, switch to these corroded golden arrows just because they're right there. Oh. Gotcha. What kind of bow of cold, huh? No special. Uh. Arrows. Let me just see here. Come on. Damn. Oh well, I don't need to go down that way, so I'm just gonna go this way. Huh? And I will be right back, everybody. Alright, everybody, I am back. So let's continue on through Sundercliff Watch and work our way to wherever it is we gotta be. Gold loser. Really, dude? 
Screw, screw sneaking. I'm just gonna. F I'm just gonna breeze through these these guys. Just do what I can to take them all out. And it looks like we got a bridge here. Looks like here's this is where we need to be. In this in these in this in this little cabin. And there's his journal. I've read Drothen's journal. He's gone into Varsa Balam in search of something called the Nefar Nefari Vigum. Nefari Vig Vigum, however you pronounce it, which he believes protects Mayron's razor. He has left enchanted bezoars in the care of his commander and forge master. With these bezoars, I'll be able to dispel his enchantment and follow him to Varsa Balim. Let's take his gold while we're at it. And look a little bit at these books. See what he's got here. To get Varla Stone. Uh, what else you got in terms of books? And nothing really. Scroll of transmutation, another scroll of transmutation, and a gold nugget, iron ore. What's in the sack? It's gold, gold, and gold. Very cool. And I don't feel like going downstairs, so let's just head out and go in here. Because it looks like this is where we're being pointed to the commander's quarters. What's that? Looks like the commander's, or it sounds like the commander's up here. Oh, he's awake. Dude, you're too small to be handling that big freaking sword. Grand Necklace of Sea Walking, Greaves of the Flame, Potion of Warmth. I don't need that. And there's the Enchanted Bezoar. I found one of the Bezoars mentioned in Drothan's journal. When I find the other, I can dispel the enchantment and enter Varsa Balem. Make that gold out of his jewelry box. You don't have squat in terms of uh, skill books, but psychic motion. I'll take it. I'll take that gold. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. Now, I'm guessing I have to go down. I'm guessing. I'm not 100% sure. I don't remember. I have done this many times, but it's been so long. I have no clue if I'm going the right way, but it looks like I am, so. Sundercliff Village. Well, well. Show me what you got here. Got him. He sounded funny. Long sword of brittleness. No thank you. You little... Jackasses. That shit hurts. Don't fucking hit me. Okay. What are these? Keen edge potions. I'll take those. I don't know what they do. Fortify blade, 15 points for 30 seconds on self. That's cool. Who's there? Who's there? Ah. Your death. Stay quiet, worm. I look a bed. Let's rest for an hour and level up. Boom, boom, boom. Now we're level what now? 14. Awesome. Continue for a little bit longer. Until we can get the hell out of here. Where are you? I'm down here, jackass. You can't hit shit. 
No aim, no aim. Ha 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 ha. What you got? If it's a fight you want, it's a fight you- What do you got, punk ass? What do you got? You ain't got squat. Oop, 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 oop. Here! Yeah. Eh, you still suck. Alright, let's go through this door here to get to the Sundercliff Forge, and that's where I'm going to end the video. So, in the next video, we will continue on working our way to find that other beat Bezor uh, so we can get past that little spell and get to Mayron's Razor. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please be sure to leave a like on the video. Hit that thumbs up button. Drop a comment down below. Tell me what you think of the videos and of the channel as a whole. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Hit that bell and turn those post notifications on. Uh, follow me on my Twitter, Instagram, and my TikTok. All, are in, all three are in the description. Uh... Thank you, and definitely check out Rep Sports and Fatal Grips if you want to get some cool products from them. And if you decide to buy something at checkout with either one, or with both of them, you can use the code Tactical Gaming. If you use that at, with Fatal Grips, you'll get 10% off. If you use it with Rep Sports, you'll get 15% off. That way you guys save some money on some cool products. I make a little money, and that money from that I would make from those goes towards improving the channel. So, once again, thank you all. I love you all. Have a great day. Bye.